What's up, freaks? This is just me, and today we're going to be exploring the best physique of Gunter Schlierkamp's entire bodybuilding career. Now, the Gentle Giants pro career started in 1994, and he competed all the way through the 90s and up to 2006, so a decently long career. That being said, in this video, we're only going to be mentioning the years 2002 to 2005, which were really the standout years of his career. I would like to show you a couple of honorable mentions before we begin the main comparison. Here we have the 2003 and 2004 Olympia versions of Gunter. You can see for yourself that he certainly didn't look bad in these shows and honestly the main reason I didn't include at least one of these versions in the uh, three-way comparison battle is the bad picture quality. I didn't want to use such bad pics uh, so low in quality and tilted and missing the lower body that sort of thing so I couldn't find any better photos but anyway, I don't feel too bad for excluding these two from the main comparison because I got another good version there. Anyway, I want to show you one more pose with the 2003 and 2004 Olympia versions. So here's the last spread for you guys. At least we can see uh, the glutes, so conditioning basically, and the back looks good too. But let's move on, right folks? Of course, we have the front double bicep as our first mandatory. These versions are left to right, respectively. 2002 GNC show of strength, where Gunter fa famously beat the current champion in Ronnie Coleman and won the whole show. Then 2002 Olympia, where many claim he should have placed higher than his fifth place finish and could even claim the standout trophy that night. And finally, the 2005 Olympia version of Gunter, which is actually his highest Olympia placing ever. He was fourth in 05. And 05 also had good pictures, as you can see. Better than 03 and 04, I think. Here in the front double bicep, I'm giving 2005 last place. That means three points, because the legs are looking smaller and kind of strangely shaped. And also the left bicep there but it has to be said that the waistline and the abs in 05 are very good in second plans, place lands the 2002 olympia which is the picture in the middle although the wheels look super good in the shot uh, guns just a little too full in the midsection to my liking bigger is not better when we're talking about the midsection so the rest of the physique is not enough to beat the O2 show strength which gets the win here. Move on to the front last spread. Here I apologize, the, the sizing is all wrong, all distorted due to the different angles that the pictures were taken from. Let's try to not focus on it. If you take a look at the left, the O2 show strength I like the least out of his trio because the lats don't seem to be as filled out even though that's hard to tell from the, because of the angle. And also the, the legs look really smooth for some reason. Then in second place, I have 05 Olympia, which has the better lats and more deeply cut lower body. The O2 Olympia Gunter here is looking amazing in my opinion. Look at the thick and strided chest separated abs and best wheels by far, I'd say. It deservedly takes the all-important one point, but this one was close. Here, in the side chest, the biggest difference really is the way he's posing, bowing out the chest in the show of strength. I don't like it as much as the split in the pack, but that's personal preference completely, so I'm gonna ignore that. The next largest difference between these three I can see is the glute which is looking a bit worse in 05 although the angle is off so I guess by default 05 gets last here but it's close again 
and the same goes for the battle between the O2 Gunters, but overall I prefer the Olympia versions, the one in the middle, it looks more conditioned, a bit, and I do prefer the execution of the Olympia after all too, so it gets another one point. The O2 Olympia is doing really good so far. Let's see from the rear. Double biceps pose first. We have a clear third in my eyes and we have it in the middle. The O2 Olympia, look at the, look at the glutes. The back looks a bit bigger, but it's mainly the straight on angle, I think. So yes, as I see the O2 Olympia, it's last here. And then everything but the glutes looks better in the show of strength than O5 Olympia. Yes, it has more peeled glutes, but otherwise it is smaller in the lower body and the upper body too. Even though it might not seem like this from the photos. It's the angle in the show of strength. It's down low, so it takes from the upper body size. Anyway, show of strength is victorious, in my opinion, in this shot. Let's go to the second back pose. The rear last spread. Basically the same story, battle for third in between the two on the right this time. Um, O5 has not only the shredded glutes on the O2 Olympia, but also the lats, which flare out much wider. I don't know if he was maybe posing differently uh, at the 2002 Olympia. I have a theory he was going for the Phil Heath type of way, trying to showcase more of the back detail or you know something similar to that and it enhances his traps and lower back thickness but in the expanse of the lats which are the centerpiece of the puzzle. I don't like this Olympia rear lat spread because the lats don't seem to be present that much. No disrespect of course but it gets three points. And the two pointer goes to the O5 Olympia showing. In the show of strength, the glutes are not as strided, but they are bigger. And look at the lats. Game over, in my opinion. The back looks so wide. Getting one point. Now, I would like this awesome German gentleman to showcase his tricep. Thank you. See, the gentle giant, they say, he did the quarter turn for me. Anyway, side tricep. The angle of the 05 Olympia competition is a little bit tilted and thus tough to compare but still I'm putting it in last. I'm only doing so because of less vascularity and detail in the arm but this is very very minor. It's extremely close really but someone has to be last here right? The angles of the both of the O2 versions are fortunately virtually the same making it easier for us. And the only difference is the midsection, which is protruding a bit in the show of strength. So the show of strength gets runner-up and the O2 Olympia wins this one, as I see it. Now go to the ab and thighs. The thighs and even lats are looking a bit downsized once again in 2005. Guys, I'm really sorry, but it gets another three points. The win goes to... 2002 show strength. The angle is tilted horribly, but I would wager to say that it might, yes, might look better in the lats and wheels. Here, however, it's again definitely close, and honestly, I'm kind of guessing, so it could go either way. Anyway, go to the crab most muscular, which gone to hit in all of these contests, fortunately, and a similar way. The quality of the middle pick is truly really a sad case, but I couldn't find anything useful whatsoever, so we have to go based on this. In the O2 show strength, he looks the least impressive to me. It doesn't have the kind of graininess and thin skin of the O2 Olympia, and it seems less conditioned than O5. Plus the traps look really mountainous. Show of strength gets third. And 2005 Olympia gets second. Because the O2 Olympia in the middle is just hard, grainy muscle. And that crap shot looks really awesome to me.
In conclusion, we have a clear, clear third place here. You can probably figure out yourself that 2005 lost this competition. It has a total of 21 points, which is quite a lot and it's not very surprising considering that this version unfortunately wasn't able to win a single pose. Okay, the highest placing at the Olympia actually probably wasn't his shape. That was quite clear. Now here comes a problem. On my score sheet, I have the show of strength in second, runner-up actually. Having 14 points, it gets beaten by the score sheet winner in the O2 Olympia, which is 13 points. So only one point less. Now I don't think this is 100% accurate. It's very close between these two. Uh, the O2 Olympia only won four poses against the O2 show strength when we compare these two strictly. All of the poses were very close except for the front lat spread and most muscular for the Olympia and the back double and real lat spread for the show strength. These are really two neck and neck versions. That being said, however, I do think the domination in the back poses is in bodybuilding circles probably more important overall. They say shows are won from the back, poses right, and the glutes, which were noticeably softer in the Olympia, are the last place for the body to store fat in, I believe. So if you want, you can take the O2 Olympia version as your winner. Maybe if Gonzo was going against a bodybuilder who didn't have strided glutes, I believe this version would fare better. But to me, the O2 show strength is just superior. It's the show that Gunter beat Ronnie Coleman. In my opinion, it wasn't just politics. Maybe a bit, they were present, but not mainly. I personally believe the 2002 show of strength, after all, is the best physique of Gunter Schlitterkamp's career. So I will crown it a winner in this video. But as I said, it's kind of a case of apples and oranges. I mean, pick the one you want from O2, that is, not from O5. I like the shredded glutes and the sh show of strength. You might appreciate the better posing, maybe better flow even, thus the Olympia version. It's a pick em. So guys, tell me down below if I did in fact make the right decision or you think otherwise. I really enjoyed this competition and I hope you did too, because that's essentially my goal. Let me know anything in the comment section below if there's something on your mind or heart. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch some Gunter Schlierkamp videos and also like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day.